वेलकम फ्रेंड्स माइ सेल्फ सप्तपूर्णी फ्रम बाय लाइव होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेरी वेल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट प्रिवियस इयर्स क्वेश्चन ऑफ सी एस आई आर नेट लाइफ साइंस फ्रॉम द चैप्टर पैरासेंट्रिक एंड पेरिसेंट्रिक इनवर्शन सो विदाउट डिले लेट्स बिगिन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेक दिस वीडियो प्लीज चेक माई थियोरिटिकल वीडियो ऑन पैरासेंट्रिक एंड पेरिसेंट्रिक इनवर्शन फर्स्ट देन Uh, watch this video, then it will be helpful to you, and you will understand everything very clearly. Okay, so let's begin. Before beginning, if you are new to my channel, I would like to request you to kindly subscribe to my channel by pressing the bell button given below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it and share it with your friends. And if you have any doubts regarding this video, you may leave a comment below in the comment section, or you may also follow me in my Facebook page, Facebook group, or in my Instagram profile. Links are given in the description box below. So. before uh, starting the question answer session uh, we have to remember some tricks to answer the questions from paracentric and pericentric inversion what are those tricks what what is the funda of this chapter first see here in homozygous chromosome if both the both the chromosomes are of wild type or normal that means they are homozygous normal then there will be normal pairing and no loop will be formed there as a result normal crossing over will occur if both the chromosomes of a homologous pair is inverted then also there will be normal pairing and no loop will be formed and normal crossing over will occur loop formation will only occur if two chromosomes of a homologous pair are different that means they are heterozygote okay then only loop formation will occur heterozygotes mean one chromosome will be normal or wild type and another one will be inverted okay that is why they are heterozygous heterozygous pair of homologous chromosome okay now when loop will form uh there will be either paracentric inversion or pericentric inversion in paracentric inversion the consequences of meiotic meiosis will be as follows like when the inversion does not include the centromere that is known as the paracentric inversion and in paracentric inversion at the meiosis one you can find acentric and dicentric chromosomes okay dicentric breeds uh, acentric chromosome will get lost uh, but dicentric breeded chromosome will be segregated in after the segregation part of meiosis one okay and after meiosis two there will be four chromosomes will be four chromatids will be formed two of the gametes will receive the normal one will receive the normal chromatid and another one will receive the inverted chromatid these two types of chromatids are non crossing over type or parental type as there is no duplication or deletion in these two types of chromatids they will be viable they will be viable okay but other two gametes will contain the chromatids with deletion the chromatids with deletion as there is some kind of deletion those gametes will be non viable okay and those two chromatids are recombinant crossing over type chromatids okay now in case of pericentric inversion pericentric inversion means that kind of inversion where the chrome the uh, inversion includes the centromere okay in pericentric inversion when the meiosis will occur what will happen after completion of meiosis to four types of chromatids will be formed and two gametes will uh, receive one will receive the normal chromatid another one will receive the inverted chromatid and those two are the parental type or non crossing over types and as they does not contain any kind of deletion or duplication those are viable gametes but other two gametes will receive two monocentric chromatids okay those are the crossing over or recombinant type chromatids and these two monocentric chromatids will 
uh, will contain deletion as well as duplication so these two gametes will be non viable non viable okay so this is the main funda in paracentric inversion you will find after uh, as a meiotic consequence you will find dicentric and acentric chromosomes and uh, after meiosis 2 you will find two gametes one with normal uh, chromatid one with inverted chromatid and two recombinant or crossing over gametes with deleted chromatid and in case of pericentric inversion after meiosis 2 two gametes will be will contain uh, one will contain normal chromatid one will contain inverted chromatid those are the parental types and viable and two gametes will contain uh, monocentric chromatid with both deletion and duplication so those are non viable these are the main funda to be remembered to solve any kind of questions from this chapter okay so now coming to the questions see the first question is asking following is the diagram of a paracentric inversion heterozygote okay so here uh, they have already given that the inversion is a paracentric and obviously uh, as inversion is occurring uh, the crossing over will occur between the heterozygotes okay so here two main terms are paracentric and heterozygote so here let's see the um, inversion a b c d e f g and here a b a f e d c g so the inversion is occurring at the this part c d e f c d e f c d e f that is why it has become a f e d c a f e d c okay now they have given you the statements uh, for answering any kind of question from this chapter you need to see the um, options very carefully and along with that you have to see the uh, diagram also okay so first let's see the options first option is a dicentric and an acentric chromosome in the meiosis one uh, will form okay see here they have given the paracentric inversion the point is paracentric so obviously a dicentric and acentric chromosome will be formed so option a is correct okay now coming to the next option no dicentric or acentric chromosome so obviously no means it will be incorrect okay now all non all are non viable gamete obviously all will not be non viable gamete only 50% gamete will be non viable those are recombinant type or crossing over type gamete so this is also incorrect now coming to the last option non viable gametes from crossover products yes the non viable gametes will form from the crossover products okay so it is also correct so for, uh, without seeing the diagram you can easily uh, answer that the p and s will be your correct answer so correct op answer is option c okay now coming to the next question the following diagram shows meiotic pairing in an inversion heterozygote okay heterozygote means loop will be formed okay now your options are a chromosome and here see here they have not mentioned uh, if this kind of inversion is paracentric or pericentric so here you have to check the diagram okay see here uh, the crossing over is occurring near the centromere so obviously it will be of pericentric type okay and if we uh, go through this see here if we go through this a b c d then here f b a so it is a monocentric and similarly from here it will be g f e then c g okay this is also monocentric so it is proven that it is pericentric kind of inversion it is pericentric kind of inversion now they have given you the options a chromosome having normal gene sequence obviously if it is para or peri there will be one chromosome with normal gene sequence so it is correct next the chromosome having inverted gene sequence obviously uh, whatever the inversion type is there will always be one gamete with inverted gene sequence so it is also right next a dicentric chromosome with duplication and deletion no it is not correct because dicentric chromosome forms in case of para centric inversion so it is not correct then a acentric and acentric chromosome having duplication and deletion it is also incorrect because 
acentric chromosome also forms in case of paracentric inversion but it is a kind of pericentric last option the chromosome having duplication and deletion yes it will be correct because in pericentric uh, inversion after meiosis uh, two chromosomes two chromatids or chromosomes are formed which have both duplication and deletion so option a b and e are correct so correct answer would be your option b okay got it now coming to the next question uh it is a descriptive type of question see here inversions are considered as crossover suppressors because number 1 option a homozygous inversions are lethal and thus they don't appear in the next generation see we, we know that the uh, inversions are not generally lethal so uh, it is incorrect okay they are only lethal if they affect any kind of gene okay or they are regulating sequences now inversion heterozygotes that means one copy having normal homo uh, chromosome and its homolog having inversion does not allow crossing over to occur as they cannot pair at all so they are saying that inversion heterozygotes does not allow crossing over no it is incorrect because we have seen that in inversion heterozygote crossing over occurs uh, okay so it is also incorrect next due to inversion present four chromosomes takes part in the pairing and crossing over events and make the structure difficult to separation and gamete formation see here obviously four chromosomes does not take part in the pairing and crossing over uh, among the four chromatids only two chromatids take part so it is also incorrect okay now obviously last answer will be your correct answer but let's also uh, see this the pairing and crossing over do occur in inversion heterozygotes but the gametes having cross over products are lethal yes in case of inversion heterozygotes obviously crossing over occurs but after the meiosis those uh, cross over products or the recombinant type of chromatids becomes lethal due to their deletion and duplication okay so it is our correct answer option d is our correct answer now coming to the fourth question it is a lengthy question but it is very easy to answer okay whenever diagram is given the question becomes very easy to answer so see here you have to uh, find out what kind of inversion this is this is the heterozygous kind of inversion and here see the normal or wild type is a b c d e f g okay and the uh, inverted type is a b e d c f g so the inversion is occurring between uh, e d c portion okay so c d e is become inverted into e d c c d is is getting inverted into e d c so they have given you the five options okay so, sorry six options what have they said that this is a pericentric kind of inversion let's see the chrome the centromere is here and the inversion is taking place here c d e so let's see uh, the picture the second strand okay a b then c d then like this okay and like this so there are two centromeres are present so obviously this is a kind of what kind of inversion is this this is a kind of paracentric inversion as dicentric bridge is forming so obviously option a is incorrect okay now coming to the option b this will generate a dicentric and an acentric chromosome obviously in paracentric inversion dicentric and acentric chromosomes are formed so it um, this is the correct option next this this will generate two monocentric recombinant chromosomes no monocentric recombinant chromosomes are formed in case of pericentric inversion so it will not be correct all the gametes thus formed will have deletion and duplication and will be non viable no not all the gametes only crossover products will uh, f um, be non viable so it is also incorrect next 50% of the gametes bearing recombinant chromatid will be non viable while 50% gametes having non recombinant chromatid will survive yes it is correct next this is a paracentric kind of inversion it is also correct so correct options will be b e and f let's see here option c contains b e and f so correct answer is option c now coming to the next question following is the picture of an inversion heterozygotes undergoing a single crossing over 
event so it is also a heterozygote okay now they have given you six options and you have to find out is it paracentric or pericentric because it is not given so let's see here from the strand 2 we can get that a b c then crossing over then e f b a so it is monocentric okay so as it is monocentric it is obviously pericentric kind of inversion okay so they have given the options the resultant two chromatids will have deletion and duplication yes in case of pericentric inversion those two chromatids those are of recombinant type have both deletion and duplication so it is correct option next a dicentric and acentric chromosome will be formed no it is incorrect because it is formed in case of paracentric inversion then the inversion does not allow crossing over to occur so even if a crossing over is initiated it will fail to occur it is also incorrect because uh, in case of heterozygous uh, heterozygote inversion crossing over obviously occur the crossing over is considered suppressed by inversion as the acentric chromosome will be segregated normally no see see here crossing over cannot be suppressed by the acentric chromosome because after the crossing over acentric chromosome is formed so there is no uh, meaning of this sentence so it is also incorrect next all the gametes formed with the crossover chromatids at the end of the meiosis will be non viable as they carry large deletion or duplication yes it is correct because uh, those uh, crossover chromatids contain both deletion and duplication as a result they are non viable last option the gametes having non crossover or parental chromatids will survive yes it is also correct so correct answer would be a e and f see here where a e and f are given in option d so your correct option is option d okay now coming to the last but not the least uh, an individual having paracentric inversion in homozygous condition see here they are given that it is a type of paracentric inversion uh, in the region fed but it is homozygous so whenever there is homozygous condition in case of homologous pair chromosome pair Uh, if it is homozygous wild type or if it is homozygous inverted type nothing matters there will be normal base pairing and no loop will be formed and as a result normal crossing over will occur so all the gametes from this uh, as a consequence of meiosis will survive because they will contain functional gene pro products and their genes and there will be no deletion or duplication okay so let's see the options here generation of an acentric and diacentric chromosome no it is incorrect because it it is uh, formed when the there are uh, the homologous pair is heterozygous but here it is homozygous so no loop will be formed so no diacentric or acentric chromosome will be formed next the recombinants will have long deletion or duplication and may be lethal no it is also incorrect because as there is no loop is forming so there will be no deletion or duplication next the inversion will suppress crossover it is also incorrect because obviously crossing over is occurring here so it cannot suppress inversion cannot suppress the crossover now obviously option d will be your correct answer but let's see the option d too uh, all gametes will have complete genome and will survive normally yes as there is no loop formation so all the gametes after meiosis 2 will have their complete genome without any kind of deletion and duplication as a result all of them will survive normally okay so the correct answer is only option d so correct answer will be option d okay so with this i end today's question answer video here if you find it useful don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and happy learning